Ernst & Young chose to support their, their Sunday Mail Centenary Fund because we have a proud tradition of supporting charitable causes, but it's not often you have the chance to support so many at the one time. Um, it means that we're raising money for a number of charities and within that there's something for everyone. Um, Scotland's about to celebrate its summer of sport. EY are sponsors of both the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games and the Ryder Cup, so we wanted to engage our staff through sport. Um, we had an idea of competing in an organised running event and wanted to support a charity through that. We saw the great work that the Sunday Mail Centenary Fund was doing through the newspaper and thought it would be a great way to support a number of charitable causes. It was actually quite easy to recruit the women or some of the guys in the team who have very personal reasons for supporting their charities. Some of the ladies want to obviously get fit for the summer, we're coming up towards that. People might have thought I'd have to go around the office lassoing them or grabbing them or being very persuasive but no, it was actually quite easy to recruit them. Yeah. Our team of runners, they, it's, it's very varied. Um, there are some experienced runners. Uh, Lorraine Reid um, is a very experienced runner. Um, she is uh, she's quite competitive actually. I think she's looking to, to shave a couple of seconds off her personal best and has been asking everybody what their times are. <laughs> um, and there are some, some novice runners. Um, so some guys some of the guys have never uh, run organised events before. I mean, they're, they're preparing really hard. They've started their training already, and they're uh, you know they're, they're undertaking a variety of methods. Some uh, couch to 10k uh, apps. Some of them have got their husbands, their children, their just whatever members of the family they can rope in to help them train for it. EY aims to raise 10,000 pounds for the Sunday Mail Centenary Fund. Um, it's a it's, it's quite a high target, um, but we are very confident that we can make that. Am I training for the women's 10k? I believe that some men have taken part in the women's 10k before. There was a joke in the office that I could have a shave and then don a wig, um, but I don't really think I've got the legs for it.